Hello, this is part 2 for the DES encryption. In this video we're going to try to split the clients from the server and uh, run the encryption and decryption. In this example I'm going to focus more on the server as being the one that encrypts the messages and the client as being the one that decrypts the message. So this is the code that we have established in the last video. We have the secret key, encryption cipher, decryption cipher. We have used ECB but uh, I'm going to switch it to CBC use the IV right here and uh, I'm gonna create a byte array IV equals to encryption cipher dot get IV and we, I'm gonna pass on this as a parameter to the decryption cipher so new IV parameter spec and pass on the IV here um, going to need this IV so I'm gonna print here out so system.out.println and I'm going to use the static method that does the encoding to encode the IV. Alright, so let's run our main. Alright, here. Okay, so this is the encryption key, this is the IV, this is the encrypted message, and this is the decrypted message. So this is good because we need the encryption key and the encryption key plus the IV because the client and the server have to get the same key and the same IV so that they can work together and um, to do that we need to change up some uh, some details I'm gonna go and create a DES client right here and uh, I'm gonna rename this class to use to be the DES server, so DES server right here. Okay, now we have the DES server and the DES client. And um, now, since the server does the encryption, I'm gonna remove everything that is related to decryption. So I'm gonna remove this part, I'm gonna remove the decryption cipher from here and from here, I'm gonna remove the decrypt method. And uh, I'm going to create a variable where I'm going to store the key and the IV. So private static static final uh, strings is going to be key strings here. And there is going to be IV string. I'm going to go to the uh, run that we had here and I'm going to copy this string paste it in the IV string and copy the key and place it right here and I'm going to copy those two and go for the clients and paste them because they need to have the same values back to the server um, since we have the uh, secret key that generates the this method that generates a secret key we don't need to create a new one we just need to uh, get the secret key from the string that we have here so I'm gonna remove this and add new secret key spec and I'm going to call the uh, decoder from the main class and decode the key string and pass on the DES as the algorithm I'm gonna remove this throws exception because we don't need it anymore and um, now we're gonna remove this print because we don't need it and here for the encryption cipher we need it to use our IV so new IV parameter spec and we're gonna call the main again to decode the IV string all right so now we just need to remove this constructor because we don't need to pass on a secret key we're gonna make it generate its own key based on these strings and we're gonna initialize the ciphers so that's it for the server let's move on now to the client uh, the client does the decryption so I'm gonna remove the encryption cipher from here from here here encryption here and we're gonna do the same thing for the secret key so I'm just gonna um, go ahead and copy that put it for the client and uh, the 
Decryption cipher does the same thing, so we need to do the new IV parameter spec and pass on the decoder to decode the IV string. All right, uh, gonna remove this constructor and keep that one. PES client, it's gonna generate the key, initialize the cipher with the decrypt mode, add the IV, and we're gonna call the decrypt method and uh, generate key gets the string and set it as our secret key so we're gonna remove this part because we don't need it and back to our main so for this main we're gonna have to uh, split everything out because um, we have a client and a server so i'm just gonna copy this and make it a main server and i'm gonna rename this to be the main for the client so for th for the server we don't need <coughs> to print out sorry the key. So I'm just gonna remove this. Server does the encryption, so we're gonna encrypt this. And uh, the constructor doesn't need any parameter. We're gonna encode the encrypted message and print it out. So I'm gonna remove this part. So this is it. The server is gonna take the string, create the class, instantiate it. Uh, encrypt the message and then encode it then it's going to print it out back to the client gonna do the same changes gonna remove this and uh, instead of having the des server it's going to be the es client client equals to new es client no parameter and then we're going to decrypt the um, decoder and we're gonna decode a message that we're gonna get from the server. So I'm just gonna put this one here and um, call a string decrypted message equals to, and I'm just gonna print it out here. Okay, so um, before we run this, we need to make sure that the, the server does the encryption. So let's go ahead and run it first. And uh, this is the encrypted message. Let's go ahead and copy that. Go to the client. We're gonna paste it right here. Run it. All right, so we're having a little problem here. Let's just double check the server. All right, so it's CDC, the client. Yeah, there, is, there has been a mistake here. I'm sorry, I need to have the same block mode. So let's go ahead and run the server once again copy that and let's go to the client gonna repaste it even if it's the same one and run it there you go this is a decrypted message the client has done the decryption after the server encrypted the message i've avoided using a real client server application because the video would be much longer so that's it for this video if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment below thank you and i'll see you in the next one